okay dear students so welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn a concept with the help of an example the concept is conservation of angular momentum so as there was a concept of conservation of angular conservation of uh, linear momentum similarly there is a concept of conservation of angular momentum also now this is what we are going to learn in earlier case in the case of translational motion there were two objects they were colliding each other and at that time we told you that the momentum will be conserved so the initial momentum is equal to final momentum and we we, we solved so many questions for that similar to that this is another concept here adapted into rotational motion let's see a turntable of mass m and the radius r spins freely about the vertical axis at an initial angular velocity omega the moment of inertia of the turntable about the axis of rotation is given as this so moment of inertia is already given so i told you that you need not to remember anything and so this will be given so moment of inertia is given as half m r square clear a small body of mass m is dropped close to the edge of the turntable with an initial negligible velocity so this mass was earlier not moving in circular fashion the body comes to rest relative to the turntable what is the final angular velocity of the turntable so overall what is happening first of all there is a turntable which is turning like this and everything is given for it angular the moment of inertia radius mass and along it while it was rotating there is a mass which was dropped and it fell here um, at the border so the radius remains the same and it starts moving along the disk now you have to tell what is the new omega what is the final angular velocity okay let's see so momentum one angular momentum two initially that should be equal to the total momentum finally okay so l1 is the angular momentum of the disk now the formula for the angular momentum that we did is l is equal to i omega where i is given to me like half m r square and omega is also given we can just assume it to be omega here okay so this is given so it is half m r square into omega and l2 can be assumed to be zero because this mass m is actually not rotating and there is no motion it does not have any velocity so angular momentum will be taken as zero now this is equal to l1 plus l2 finally so finally both of the masses are moving with let us say omega dash and this will be i1 omega dash and this will be i2 omega dash i1 is the moment of inertia of disk i2 is the moment of inertia of the body which is falling on it now we plug our values here half m r square into omega dash plus i2 is the moment of inertia of this mass m so this mass m is now sitting here the radius is r and it is revolving around this axis thereby we can say that the formula for the moment of inertia will be very simple which is m r square so this can be taken as small m but the radius is the same radius is the same this into omega dash accordingly we can find the omega dash from this equation so let us try to simplify it here i'm taking this omega dash common and r square can also be taken common r dash and r dash gets cancelled out so this two can be multiplied to both sides this will become this omega dash clearly omega dash is coming out to be equal to m plus 2m which is the option a and this is how we do this question and with this the concept of 
conservation of angular momentum should also be pretty clear. I will try to find more such questions and they will be added into the list. No problem. And you can watch those videos also to learn this concept even better. So this is the conservation of angular momentum principle. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.